Hi, hello, hey, and welcome to this episode of Rushed Vibes. I am your host, Jessica Rushed Vibes Rushing, accompanied by David Rushed Vibes Rushing. And we are here to vibe. How's your vibe? Ah, it's good to be back. We didn't go anywhere. Well, not to them, but we had a whole, what, two weeks off? Week off? Is that what it was? The time got filled with something else, so it didn't really feel off. It felt off to me. Didn't have to, re- didn't have to record, didn't have to set up, didn't have to break down. Oh, excuse me. It was great. I'm glad. You know what else is great? Cybertruck. It's coming. It's real. They're going to start deliveries this November. I probably still won't see one for another couple of years, but it's happening. How does it make you feel? Speechless. I get it. I felt the same way. What are you drinking? A naked and famous. Naked and famous. Are those two things you aspire to be? We need to make this a 10 minute podcast. You could make this a 10 minute podcast if you tried. I could. I absolutely could. You know how I do it. So run Spotify, Apple music, tune in as I, as I learned. So, um, for anybody who is new here, uh, is tuning in for the second week in a row because you watched our interview with with Franco Councilman. We're going to speak it into existence, Franco McGee. Um, welcome. Thanks for checking it out. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks for coming back, if that's you. If not, and you found us some other means, welcome. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Like button, you can save a little till a little bit later just to make sure you like what we talk about. No, but, go ahead and like it. Okay. Well, you like- wait, we might forget. Um, That's true. Although I'll put a graphic up later, midway through the uh, the episode, that to say subscribe, like, like, yep. But anyway, yes, I'm drinking naked and famous. Oh, I wasn't done yet, but but go ahead. But go off. It's one of my favorite cocktails, Um, and I wanted a spirit forward cocktail this evening. So you wanted a what forward? Spirit forward. Does that mean like more spirit than means a mixed cocktail? Like you're drinking something neat. But it's a mixed cocktail. So like an old fashioned is a spirit forward cocktail, a Manhattan, uh, one that there's more, you're balancing the layers of spirit. So in here I've got Mezcal, Aperol, and Yellow Chartreuse, which are all spirits. Okay. Um, And then a little bit of lemon juice. So I didn't want to do like juice and simple syrup plus a spirit I want it or soda or tonic or anything. I wanted to taste it. <clears throat> and I couldn't decide. I thought I wanted a bourbon cocktail, but I don't own vermouth. I don't own. Yeah, I'm surprised. So I can't make. No, I, I have no idea what it is. It just sounded exotic. It's in, um, it's in like a Negroni, a Manhattan. It's in, uh, um, not a Manhattan. Yeah, a Negroni, a Manhattan, a uh, martini. Vermouth. You have okay. different types of vermouth. So I didn't have vermouth, so I couldn't, even though we've got all this bur- bourbon, I couldn't do anything with that that I wanted. Um, so I Who has all this bourbon? I have all this bourbon. You have all this bourbon? We have all this bourbon. Because I'm a bourbon hunter, and I hunted down. I mean, you... I You were I, able to... No, I hunted the bourbon. You were able to find some. I hunted the bourbon. I'm the bourbon You went hunter. and picked it up. Somebody else did all the legwork for you. They just told you where it was going to be. I did the legwork. <laughs> and then I hunted it. And I'll be using my, my, I'm using my bourbon for your. Didn't you invite me to a sip just the other day? Did I? Didn't you just pour my cognac? I don't know what you're talking about. That's not ours? No. You said no. You said you brought that. No. It's Jess's. No, no, no. You said you brought it back for me from, from Jamaica. No. The little one, the little sample that was left in the original bottle, that was what I brought you back from Jamaica. Uh, Okay. This is Jess and I's, so I'll take that out of Jess's half. No, shouldn't be shouldn't be left here. Anything left here is bound to get drank. 
well, I will be divvying up the bottle for this weekend. Right. So how'd you like the, uh, the interview with Franco? I didn't watch it. You didn't watch it. Did you listen to it? I, well, I mm. listened to part of it. Yeah. So you're not, you're not really a playbacker. I'm not because my logic is I was there. Mm. It's me. I don't mind listening back to our episodes, but I listen. I s don't like it also because I'm very critical. That's so I'm point. like, I should have said this. I could have said that. I hope no one misinterpreted what I was trying to say. Cause that's really what I spend most of my time thinking like, okay, did other people understand that this was the message I was trying to convey? Not, something else mm. so a lot of times i don't like listening back um i just listen back for the sake of getting us ratings it's like voting for yourself i don't know if that does anything but no i usually don't so i started to listen to the interview and then i was like nah because i was there. franco turns you off that much huh that's not, <laughs> that's not that's not what i said in any way shape or form it's interesting well it's gotten a lot of good feedback good well, if you need an interview, we are happy. Man, yeah, if you're running for anything, anything, PTO. No, yeah, it has to be neighborhood. A little, a little neighborhood more important watch. than that. neighborhood watch. A little we more important you. than that. But uh, we've we've got another um, interview type episode we that we're that we're working on. Now that I'm I'm. Do we have a venue? Well, no, I was going to say now that I'm now that we've wrapped up Franco and his uh, demands. We uh we should be free to, you know, start thinking about that creatively. I definitely want to do it before the end of the year, mm -hmm. and uh, before we get too busy into our birthday slash holiday season, yeah, which is coming coming fast. Handful of days. The baby's, um, the baby's turning two. Baby's turning the two. The smallest vibe is turning two. And if she keeps waking up in the middle of the night, she might not see it. <laughs> She might not make it. Or y'all might see it without me, because I might go ghost. This is really good, by the way. I'm going to hide that bottle. It's a good look. You really can't just, like, sit and drink it. You don't have to mix it, nothing. It's just a... Mm -hmm. Why would you take my drink like that? Like, there's not a whole bottle up in the cabinet. It is very sessionable. Se sessionable is the proper term it's the proper term okay for the people who actually know very sessionable it was sessionable okay. i like that you know your t your vibe is not very sessionable right your now this is not very sessionable. <laughs> yet we're here here we are so jess david This is going to be one of your bad segues. <laughs> Did you know that you're married to a hypocrite? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because all week long, I've had a particular headline and variations of it shoved down my throat and shoved in my face every time I open a social media app on my phone. And... I replied to all the posts. I'm like, enough. Like, that's enough. We don't need to see anymore, hear anymore, read anymore. But we're going to talk about it tonight. <laughs> and the celebrity gods were so gracious that they gave us were they another. Gra were they gracious or are they punished? I don't know. They gave, gave us another, almost an identical. We got the Middle East crumbling, and then over here in America. Oh yeah, this is what we're dealing with. Middle East is crumbling. Um, I thought we were gonna try not to mention it, but two-sided mirror. There you go. Jessica wanted to bring it in. Ugh. Freaking a. I'm just curious what's happening in Europe. Have you noticed Europe's been real quiet? It's not like they mind the business. Gotta be like them. Yeah. Not China. Um, I'm not hearing much. We do just want to say that all the stuff that's going on is is absolutely horrible. We don't uh, like war. We are. We don't condone war. We are. We are pro peace for everybody. And that's all we're gonna say. And that's all we're gonna say because it's dangerous in these streets. It's extremely dangerous in these the streets. Word. That's probably the wrong word, but anyway. <laughs> 
So are we just jumping right into that? Cause there you, are other things we didn't touch on. Touch on when? Well, there have been like a cool, cool, culmination, culmination of things. Like we never got to talk about Kerry Washington. Or this is like four weeks ago. It's, it's, it's somebody else that we were supposed to, uh, Kirk Franklin. It's over. It's, it's, it's past. The moment's past. Okay. So we're just diving in. Your girl. Which one? Jada Pinkett Smith. Jada Pink. See, that's what happens when people have double last names. <laughs> well, thank God that you just took my last name. I mean, I have my maiden name, but I don't, but it don't, I don't say it. Right. You're just Jessica Elizabeth. I'm just Jessica Elizabeth. Yeah, we don't care about the Nisai. Mm. But if I was Jessica Nisai rushing, like that'd be, that, that would be. I'd be trouble for you. Then I probably would have slapped somebody by now. <laughs> yes. It's com- you have a list of people you want to slap. So it's. Uh, I don't have a list. It's, it's just like two names. Okay. It's not like a list. It's more like a couple. That's still a list. It's, it's the like top. A, it's a list starts it's like a little, with at least a little one. writ. It's very small. <laughs> okay. Habeas corpus. Um, Jada Pinkett Smith. I. So do we need to I would hope we don't need to give background give but background. if we do I we're going to end up giving back very high it. level it's very high level uh Jada Pinkett Smith's memoir memoirs is it memoirs or memoir memoir it's just one is uh is coming out I think the 24th of October this month and like every other memoir um you know some excerpts the juicy spicy excerpts Excerpts, serps, excerpts. You have uh, the degrading. It's the the, <laughs> the Hennessy kicking in. Excerpts <laughs> have uh, started. Excerpt. Have st- <laughs> what? What? Okay. Started. Started coming out, and there are some claims. She. There are some wild things said in the uh, in the memoirs. I think I only know of one thing. So she said, uh, one of the things she said is she knew instantly that she was pregnant with Jaden, like right after she and Will had sex. And that he laughed and called a friend and then she spent the rest of the night crying. Like, that's almost like word for word. She said Tupac had alopecia. Which, I don't know, it's not that hard to believe. Maybe I need to read the book because I don't know why. The book's not out here. Oh, I don't know that anybody cares. I mean, this is just a memoir of her. The book is out. Of her. Oh, is it? Because I've seen in the the Black Girls Read and the Black Girls Read 2 Facebook group that I'm in. Um, even Missy commented because I remember she commented. I don't care about Missy. So, she um, commented and I was like, Missy, you're here too. Yeah, I don't, I don't care about Missy. <laughs> and she so, says, okay. Yeah, whatever. So there's a Black Girls Read and Black Girls Read 2, like mm-hmm. 2 T-O-O. Mm-hmm. Are they like? They're two separate groups. They're not affiliated. Mm-mm. Do they are they aware of each other? Yes, because the one group talks junk about the other. Aren't they, aren't they redundant then? No, it was a black girls read, and then I think there must have been a coup, so somebody. Oh, laughed. so they they black girls read too. So it's like the pivot podcast breaking off from I am athlete. Sure. Oh. Mm-hmm. So um yeah so rather so, you know it's just isn't it amazing how. Uh, easy it is for things to fracture when they get to a certain mm-hmm. certain size. It's like boy bands. Mm-hmm. They always break up. Somebody always goes solo. Mm-hmm. Girl bands. Mm-hmm. Female bands. But I mean, it's like the fracture because only one is still successful, is the most successful. So that makes you think that with bands there's really one person and then you've got however many backup singers no i hate to say it like i love kelly Rowland, but kelly Rowland's career not to make having to make comparisons without trying to make comparisons um she was, was, <clears throat> she was texting ellie on microsoft excel look maybe she knew about sharepoints before sharepoints was even a thing SharePoints. um but like, if you think about a Destiny Child, look at Beyonce in comparison to a Kelly and the other girl, um, Michelle. If you break it down, it's like Beyonce and two backup singers that have yeah. notoriety. I appreciate mm. Kelly because I can relate to her. 
I feel like I relate to her more appearance wise. Um, so she was always the one that I gravitated to. I never really gravitated to like the lead of a band. You look like you feel like you look resemble Kelly Rowland. I mean, at the peak where it was like, oh, Beyonce, Beyonce, like Kelly's a darker skinned woman. I'm a darker skinned woman. So I preferred her because I felt like we fall under the same. We would be categorized the same. So you didn't root for the light skinned person because she already had enough. She was light skinned. No, she had enough people rooting for her. Yeah, so so you, I had to sh- I had to root for the brown skinned underdog. So if Kelly if Kelly had been the popular member, would you I have because she'd been popular? Dark skin no, I'm saying had Kelly been the most popular, so you would have gone with Beyonce, or was it no, just I a, gone with Kelly? It's so it's like rightfully so. So you're racist. Is <laughs> what I'm, I'm not, trying to get at. I'm not racist. If I look in a mirror, I look more like Kelly Rowland than I do Beyonce. So I'm going to naturally gravitate. But I'm I'm one of those people. I go for the outlier. So if everybody's going left. I'm going to go right. This so if everybody's a fan of Justin Timberlake, I was a fan of J.C. Shazam. So funny you mentioned Justin Timberlake. Oh, we'll, yeah. we'll get to him I later. Really do that. But um, back to uh, Jada. Jada. Yeah, no, I just thought it was interesting. Yeah, no, I was saying I don't know why I need to know that Tupac had alopecia. Um, I think, you know, rest. I think there's just, a, there's obviously, a he was significant to her. And they knew each other but when would they were. Be significant to him. That's a question that I really need answered. I don't know. We'll have to, you know, look up interviews and stuff like that. But mm-hmm. you know, they knew each other really young as teenagers. I think. Mm-hmm. Um, she actually referred to him as her soulmate. Yeah, didn't she say he allegedly proposed to her? In Rikers, like somebody, somebody, somebody broke another, it down and was like, "Internet sleuth." No way. That it's not possible. Look. Which I don't want. I don't necessarily want to touch because there's a there's a the SBI. There's there's and the I want to social bureau. I want to bring this back. I want to bring this back to something, but I want to go through it first go. before we Let's before I bring it before I bring it back. Um, obviously the biggest bomb show was that she revealed that her and Will had been separated since 2016, which means they were not married. They're divorced without the actual title of being divorced. Which is weird because they feel like they can't separate each other because because they're too rich. These are rich. They don't have, yeah, yeah, they don't have a prenup. So, but they hadn't really been together the night of the Oscars when Will said, "Keep my wife's name out your mouth," and, and she was allegedly surprised. And she was allegedly surprised because she was like, "What? Like, because I haven't been that to you for the last seven years." Big bomb show, which is which, Pause. which makes. Who has Will Smith been hooking up with for seven years that nobody had? Like, what NDA are these people signing? Why does it matter? Because it's amazing that this hasn't leaked sooner. Oh. Uh-huh. That they had to be the ones to put it out there. Yeah. Carry on. We'll um, go back to this part. Because, you know, I like Yeah, which means the they, they weren't together at the, the night of the slap. Yes, they were together. No, they were there as a family, not as a married couple. It was just the two of them. They were there as a married no, couple. No, they were there as they consider themselves family, not like together. Not as husband and wife, but as, as a family. So. Which obviously stirred all the slap stuff back up. I think she even mentioned that Chris Rock. Yeah. He, he, called her and let this is alleged. Obviously it's alleged. Um, called her when he heard rumors that her and Will were on the outs and she was like, no, those are just rumors. And she only said he apologized profusely. So Chris Rock can't even, Chris Rock just trying to mind his own business. He's not. He was minding his own business. Like these men, and I put a post on social media. It was yesterday, this morning. These just banned memoirs. Because no. people would be catching strays. Because let me get to that level in life <laughs> where I'm on Dancing with the Stars. I'm going to write a memoir. It's going to be called My Opinionated Truth. And I'm going to do one of those like cover shots where it's like my silhouette, but you can tell it's me, but I'm going to be like naked. So I'm going to be like this. My Opinionated Truth. And I'm going to be in some like funky, like stretch pose like this. So I'm just going to say opinion, My Opinionated Truth. Oh, no, it's going to say Opinionated Truth. A memoir. Just rushing. Bam memoirs. 
I love memoirs. Me. That's how the tea gets spilled. People, but I feel like we are using memoirs at the wrong point of life. Like you should write your memoir and then let it sit, and then when you die, that's when it gets released posthumously. Yes. I think that because then it's like there's no follow up questions. What you put down is all we know. Like there should be a memoir vault, and that's what you do. You write it down, you publish it, you put it in the vault, and then as soon as you you either go senile or you die, that's when they release the memoir. And then we're over here like, oh my gosh, all this happened. You did that. He did what? And we can't even follow up. That's how memoirs need to be. That's it. Like if I wrote a memoir, I wouldn't do this little circuit tour. You would just have to take the tea and drink it as it was brewed. I like those socks. Are those new? No, mom got them for me for one of the Christmases. Because socks seem to be just what everyone likes to get me. Somebody needs to buy me some socks because I'm all out. You know, Target's up the street. That's my wife. You uh, should you should take it upon yourself. Y'all, I am putting together the most epic birthday trip for this man. Last year's trip was epic. This is epicer. Let's stay focused. So, so I ain't buying you no damn socks. Tell your mama to buy you some socks. Mama, mm-hmm. buy him some socks. Bring my mother into this. I will. Um, memoirs need to be banned. But see, here's the thing. Do you recognize you have a sticker on the back of your hand? Yes, Avi gave it to me. <laughs> uh, and also, Will Smith has chimed in. It's a good thing we didn't record yesterday because I, I caught wind that Will has resurfaced on social media. Isn't he still in Bali? No, no worries. Mm-hmm. But he, uh, obviously he's read the book. He uh, wrote a, an email response to the New York Times. Um... I think uh, he wrote a letter to Jada that was read to her on the Jay Shetty podcast that she was on, I think, this week, last week. Uh, the, the, this, the, the rollout has been impeccable. So whoever the Smiths, assuming they share the person, if not, if they have individual PR people, their PR people are phenomenal. Because as much as people want to stop talking about the Smiths, everybody keeps talking about the Smiths. You know, I almost went to school and, for PR. You would have been. I think I would have been an amazing. You, and you still could be. I could. Maybe I should now, pursue that. Should Rush Vibes ascend? Okay. I have someone in mind that I would want to be like our publicist. One of your cousins. Oh. Okay. But thanks for <laughs> shooting just, down dreams. Just, I'm sorry. Thanks for shooting down dreams I in case anybody. Like, oh, my cousin, my cousin, my third cousin. No. We're, we're all we're all guys' children. Okay. <laughs> we're all related well, at some care. point. I need a professional. Who specializes in? Um, no, their PR people are handling it. The one thing that did jump out to and me, the Red Table Talk supposed to be coming allegedly coming back next month, canceled. next year. It's ice. It's ice. It's the ice. That's what they say. That's what say they say in all the in all the scary movies. And you know what it is? It's actually the killer. I'm trying to make sure the killer ain't over there, Jess. That's all you gonna do to make sure the killer. Well, I gotta, I gotta make eye contact with him first. I gotta see where he at. The kids said something. The the Smiths, Smiths kids. Oh, it was like our said kids. Something about they about want the, the family, killer? the private family matters to stay in the family. Yeah, the kids said that, and I support it mm. wholeheartedly. I absolutely do not want to talk about the Smiths. As we sit here talking about the Smiths. Because they keep making us talk about them. And it was funny. Um, someone had interviewed Monique. I don't know if this was recent. Because you, you can I never saw it, but I didn't watch it. You it's can never... ice. No. It's the water dispensing into the ice machine. Okay, one, stop talking to me like I'm five. You're the one. What's that? Yeah, because I want to turn. If I want to look over my shoulder, I can turn and look over my shoulder. Drink your spirit for a drink. Um... Because you can never tell because stuff with the Smiths has been going on for so Yeah, I, I said it. You can glare all you want to. Stuff with the Smiths has been going on for so long that you can't ever really date 
an interview of somebody commenting on their relationship just because I feel like I'm talking about it for like the last decade. Why do we care about them so much? But she said, Will and Jada love? That's not, that's no more. You know. Um, what did Monique say? She Who just said, referencing Monique? Why is she talking? No offense. Somebody interviewed her, but she said that's their business. Yeah, because she calls her husband daddy. She does. You should look into that. And she and it's not like a, it's like a like a respectful daddy. Man, it's not like a kinky daddy. It's like, like daddy. <laughs> I remember the first time I heard. The first time I ever heard it was on the Breakfast Club interview, the world famous Breakfast Club interview. And she said, "Daddy," and I I thought his name was like Danny. Like I thought I didn't hear it correctly. Um. And then I realized brother's name was like Sydney or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm like, okay, maybe his middle name is Daniel or something. And then I realized, no, she said, daddy. It's like, okay, that was new. Mm-mm. I'm not calling well, you daddy. Well, I mean, it's not, I'm it's not, not, daddy it's not completely new. No, you might not call me daddy in the streets. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, but yeah, she was like, you know, it's none of my business, which is true. But the Smiths keep putting this stuff out there. They do. They this okay. I'm gonna, actually. I don't even know if we can say it's the Smiths. It's really just Jada. It, so okay. So this is where we need to let's let's yield. I don't want you. Let's yield okay. because I think Will has done, and this could be his PR team has done a great job of imaging Will, and somehow. In that imaging, it's the Fresh Prince. They didn't pull Jada in to make them that couple. Like if you think of like a Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively. If you think of the people who do the, uh, is it Carmax Carvana commercial? Uh, Veronica Mars. What's her name? I can't remember her name, but her her Je- husband's Je- name Je- is like- Je- Jeopardy. Uh- <laughs> her husband name is like Dax, like so it's it, it's oh Dax from uh j- 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 just Ashton from Punk, show. yes, um and his wife, you know her, Veronica Mars, the blonde, she, sure. yeah. <clears throat> they and maybe it could be it it could de- it could easily be a race thing, just with the generation and the fact that they're black, because I mean no one would ever try and do this. Well, I guess Denzel Washington's wife isn't like in the public eye like that, but. The PR team for Will, in my opinion, didn't try to create this image of their relationship that was like, oh my gosh. And what do you mean? How do you think they got the Will and Jada love line in the J. Cole song? Because J. Cole was young. Um, because for my whole upbringing, it was always like, oh, they do some weird stuff. They have an open marriage. Like I, Since I can remember Will and Jada's relationship foundationally was always questioned and and i'll say this from like being i'll say 13 as in me being old enough to reference like et and all these other shows that may or may not have been tabloid type shows that would talk about it so they were never in my opinion depicted as this perfect couple that we should aspire to be and through that jada has always been villainized will has had this this great image added to him you know this he's an actor he's good looking blah 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 and jada has somehow always managed to become the villain so i don't i i'm hesitant with taking a position on this because i feel like people like not liking jada and i feel like people like blaming jada i didn't read will's memoir um i know i got it for you or you got it for you i know you have it um i don't know if you've ever finished you really don't remember buying it for me huh i did buy it for you that's because i'm always stuff and always spoiling with you with stuff that i can't keep track of what i paid for such a thoughtful gift that you remember just a short over a year later ago i bought you a lot over the course of a year can't even remember it was actually two years ago see look at that so it, i didn't read it but i heard that in his memoir he mentioned cheating on her which or having an affair or something like that um this is like third hand because again i didn't read it but 
if that's the case, like, why isn't he a villain in this? His memoir came out first. But it seems like any time... One, I do think Jada needs to sit down and be quiet because I think she needs to recognize how polar polarizing she is as a character, as a human being, um, when it comes to Will. Like, Jada cannot do right by Will. Society does not like Jada enough for her to do right by Will. Mm. And, and so no matter what she does, even if she's coming with her own honest, opinionated truth, she's being genuine, people will always find the fault with her. So that's where I sympathize for her. Cause I feel like she, you know, she's damned if she does, she's damned if she doesn't. Um, I don't know that right now was, I mean, who's to tell you when is the right time to write a memoir? I don't know that now was the right time to release the memoir. Um, I think, but then I'm also perplexed that they've been separated since 2016. Cause it's like, if you're going to be separated since 2016, just get divorced. Like you can't divorce each other, but they don't, I don't feel like they add to each other's brand image enough that they need to be together. Hmm. Like, interesting. Like you have, if you pulled in like a comparable example, I would think would be like Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. They can't afford. I know you hate them. Not I don't hate, hate them. I don't hate you them. just hate talking about them. They can't afford to divorce because they went through so much. So they would have to like silently separate because they put the UK through everything. They don't killed grandma. They, I mean, they didn't. I'm kidding. I'm yeah, we know that, she, she is dead. People be forgetting because Charles, see why you see why I said Europe is being very quiet. Where is Europe? Where is Europe? they were? Yeah, they were all all in the news for like the longest time. The longest time. And I was like, what? I remember they were talking about Charles's fingers, like being real fat, looking like bratwurst. What? His fingers was big. Maybe they swelled because of like anxiety, the pressure of being a king. I don't know, but his fingers were just like uncomfortably large. I will have to follow up on that. Look like somebody's about to look like some some Franks. Anyway, a couple like that, they would have to silently separate because they caused so their relationship caused so much damage. A Will and Jada, like your kids are grown, they're going through their own things. Just separate. Like y'all are both rich enough. And if you love each other as much as you claim you do, like you could have a peaceful divorce. You take yours, I take mine. I mean, their house is sitting on like an island in LA anyway. Like the amount of land they have, they can lose each other. So. I mean, they're in Calabasas. Isn't that LA? I mean, it's. In the area. Okay. It's also Calabas. It's rich. Um, just divorce. Because all for years, people have been speculating that, you know, there's something up with the Smiths. Like, that could literally have been a TV show. Like, what's up with the Smiths? Like, because everyone has always suspected it. It's, it's been some silent Illuminati rumor that they're, you know, open marriage and doing this and doing that. And then the whole August thing came out. And... The, slap, the entanglement. The in, thank you for bringing the word back. The entanglement, which was messy. So it's just like relieve us of this, but then also stop talking. So remember, I said I wanted to circle. Mm -hmm. circle We've got back. a lot of circles to do. One of the reasons why, like you, I, I haven't really truly expressed uh, frustration. Or have you know made fun of Jada? Other than some, there have been some really funny memes on social have media. There? Yeah, there have been some really good ones. Uh, they've been in the group chat, but of course, kind of like you said, how Will is painted versus how Jada is painted. Um, I do at the same time, while I, I do want to not talk about them, um, I do recognize that she has been painted starkly different than than will feel fair and um some of it she you know <laughs> she kind of helps she might push enjoy the, being villain. she might help push the narrative forward but um some of it yeah is 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 like why y'all so quick to 
you know so I I, I, I I try to be way more conscious and, and aware just because all the conversations you you and I and and Esquire had um, any conversation you and I have had over the years just about you know black women and how they're treated you know double standards and, and blah 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 um, <coughs> as like frustrating as the Smiths and their drama may be, because it seems like it's just forced on us. She does still, I think, um, have the right, obviously, because this is America to mm -hmm. tell her truth. Mm -hmm. And, um, it's not the ultimate truth, but it's her truth. And I think that she should, she should have the ability to speak and express it. Um, you know, if, if she feels that that's what she needs to do, which is why she's writing the book. Um, it's just unfortunate because we keep, <laughs> it's the Smith stuff, so we keep hearing it. Mm -hmm. So it's like, uh, um, but it's all right. And we don't have to buy it. We don't have to, uh, we don't have to download the audio book. Mm -mm. And to be truthful, we don't have to pay attention to any of the noise. It's hard to get away from. Um, and it's popular, obviously. So you want some clicks, so you talk about it. But yeah, um, she is very regularly painted in in a negative light mm -hmm. uh, as being selfish or as throwing Will under the bus. Or um, although a lot of times, of what she says, and I think in her mind, she's just speaking the truth. Her truth, her truth. It's like, damn. Like, why are you? <laughs> Because, like, when she said they weren't even together in 2016, it's like, well, now people think Will is a simp because he's talking about keep my wife's name out your mouth and she's not even looking at you like her husband. Mm. And you out there slap Chris Rock and, and like start, like, literally risk your career for a woman who at the time didn't identify as your wife. Uh, that could have been kept under us, but that's the kind of stuff that sells memoirs, which is why we need to ban them. We cannot ban. Yes. I mean, we're already banning books. Somebody, we need, no, a, you know who we know. It's just no, a modern autobiography. You know what we need? No, you we know what happened? A, no, no, no. Wait, you know what we need? We need to connect. With Florida? With DeSantis? The Moms of Liberty. <laughs> moms for Liberty. Because I know they can get. Don't they can care. They can get a book banned like that. They don't care. We I, somebody you know what happened? Somebody we knows. Stopped that. calling autobiographies autobiographies. Memoirs. And we started is, calling them memoirs. Memoirs is a little sex. It's that's, sexier though. It is, but that. It sounds more important. That's that's when we started going downhill. If people just, would go back to writing autobiographies no. and not writing memoirs, we wouldn't be in this. Just situation. ban them. Just ban it all together. You're not allowed to write about no. your own life right. and and sell it for profit. An autobiography. <laughs> You got to go the and you got to go the Anne Frank route. Just somebody just stumble upon your diary and, and publish it. Real autobiography I read Malcolm X. It was an autobiography. Had that I feel been like that was everybody's first memoir one. of Malcolm X. Who knows what kind of mess I would have been exposed to. Go back to writing autobiographies. No, ban everything. It's going to be it's going to be on Tubi. Just wait for it wait it the likeness of this is going to be on Tubi. um but in all seriousness ban memoir <laughs> uh i mean at the end of the day this is their marriage or not, the lack thereof this is their life um i applaud if they have been separated since 2016 and have somehow been seeing people and have managed to keep it under wraps as they have, I applaud that. Like the lawyer who wrote the ironclad NDA, keep him on retainer or her on retainer. Um, but I think. Would you ever do open marriage? Would you ever do an open marriage? I asked you first. This just feels messy. Doesn't mm -hmm. this is a yes or no question? I don't know that I really understand what all encompasses an open. Oh, so now you don't understand. Now you, you have a hard time understanding what it means. You can sleep with other people or date other people. What are you doing? I, you got to determine the parameters of open marriage. Well, I think, marriage. I think each couple that 
decides to do an open marriage, you know, sets their own parameters. But the general idea is that you see someone outside, whether it's romantically just dating or intimately, you see someone outside of the person that you're legally married to. It's, Again, I ask. It's too much work managing you. I wouldn't want to have to manage other people, too. Number one. You are. Number one. Nobody manage me. That only is. one person manages me, and he lives in Greenville. All right, that's the only person who manages me. I manage you. Mm. We both have a notes called David's issues. I manage you. <laughs> um, and you ain't got fixed, so we can have this open marriage, and you're gonna stroll in with somebody else's kid, uh, uh-uh. uh, and have to explain that to your kid. Okay, so number two, <laughs> why are we talking I'm about Jada? I'm I'm Jada. <laughs> Why are we talking about my fixed status? Because you, you've never no more never liquid, had, no more spirit forward drinks on the podcast never for you. Had a status, so I still maintain I'm going to do it. I haven't gone to any doctors for anything in like two years, and that's something you're proud of. And when I no, when when I go, I'm gonna get everything done. I just got to go first. That's not how doctors work. It's not a la carte. You can't just check. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be like, hey doc, while you back there, <laughs> just go ahead and set up. No, nah, because I'm getting I'm getting to that age, man, where you got to start doing preemptive shit. Mm-hmm. Preventative? <laughs> preemptive, preventative, whatever. Okay. Pre- I, that, those are similar. I don't know. Preemptive. You don't have the English degree. You're going to make me go to the... Talk about something while I pull this up. Um, yeah, Jade, Jade has just been made a villain. When the real villain here is... is I, f- I kind of want to say the real villain is Will. Because Will has protected his image... Because he recognizes his image. He's protected his image so much that he's allowed Jada to take the the punches for a lot. I mean, preventative can kind of work. You can force it, but preventative would be better. Thanks. Um, yeah, I'm at the age where you got to do preventative shit. Okay, congrats. Like people got it. <laughs> Just um, got to spread stuff and send cameras down things and look around and poke and prod and have you cough. fondle things while you cough it's uncomfortable so you the just, thought of it is uncomfortable so you just avoid the no doctor. i don't i'm not avoiding actively avoiding it it's, it's been two it, years it's been it's pandemic <laughs> no. wasn't that the excuse <laughs> it's a pandemic that's why i can't go to the doctor that's why i can't you're about to be 36 that's why I can't come pick up your kids from the hospital because it's a pandemic. It's a pandemic. Now nah, I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna line them all up. I'm gonna hit the. I'm gonna hit the 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 physician, the family physician, the regular doctor. I'm gonna get the. Uh, I'm gonna get the checks. Uh, I'm gonna get the dentist, the eye doctor, and then I'm gonna go ahead and see the snip doctor. Okay. All in one fell swoop. So by like four years, Q Q three, Q two of next year. Q two. I should be good. Yeah, because you know everybody's booked out, so it's a matter of getting in. But um, should be good. Should be good by Q two. Twenty twenty four. You want to talk about something productive now? Oh my bad. Yeah. So um. You really want to talk about me not being fixed, so I feel like this is a this is your fault. This tangent was your fault. But what were we? What were you talking about? I said that Will has allowed Jada to beat the villain to protect his image. Um, I feel like Jada's done that on her own. Hmm. I feel like Jada's kind of done that on her own. I think it's been defaulted on her. I also think I don't. I don't care too much. Sticking with that. Um, you know, when I was I quite a teenager, um, it was double digit, double digit age. So a preteen? 10, 10, 11, 12. Preteen. Um, my family, every summer we would go to the beach, go to Nagzad, to North Carolina. At the time, I was living in Virginia, uh, and our family down here in the Charlotte area, they uh, a few few families would drive up. We would all rent a house. Everybody would kind of pitch in 
on the beach each day for like four or five days. And then everybody would go home. We decided we would do it every other year. Um, Back in the day when you started a trip and people actually committed to it. Yeah. So it was actually closer for us to drive from Northern Virginia to get there than the people who lived here just because of where it is and interstates and things like that. Geography. So um, at the time, I was really close or I had, had met and we eventually become close uh, with my cousin, uh, Ashley, who's now like super, super popular and successful in the city of Charlotte. in Thailand. No, I think they're back. They are those people, aren't they? They, they post after they get back. Usually. They, no, they may still be there, but I think they're back. Um, they're gone for two weeks. Let's not, let's not putting out people's... Uh, let's stop, so let's if you don't be listening, I need you to confirm if you're coming to Sonoma's birthday party or not. Oh, yeah. I'll hit stuff up. I sent the invitation to Ashley. I should have sent it to Steph, but I don't have Steph's number. You okay. do that. Handle okay. that. Okay. So, yeah. Um, so this is before like cell phones, tablets, things like that. So we would spend a lot of time with the other cousins uh, dancing to music. You danced? I did what I thought was dancing <laughs> at the time. Um, and believe it or not, one of the songs that was our favorite to dance to was uh, Hit Me Baby One More Time. Yeah, that was the jam. It was. I had the VHS set that taught you the routine. If I consume enough. That was her coming out. If mm -hmm. I consume enough, I could do the, I can do the choreography. It comes back to me. So who sings Hit Me Baby One More Time? Britney Spears. The one and only. Britney Spears, who also is the white Jada Pinkett Smith, is releasing a memoir in which she fired one of the messiest, unnecessary, undeserved strays I've seen in quite some time. Is it undeserved? Because people it's, still have issues it's, against it's, Justin. I don't know why people don't like Justin Timberlake. Because of what he did to Janet. Oh yeah, the boot thing. Um, I believe the official story is that it was a malfunction. <laughs> the nipple was not supposed to be exposed. The wardrobe malfunction. Mm -hmm. It's the official. It's the official. <laughs> but his career was successful and hers plummeted. Did she, she married a Janet Jackson? It didn't. Did she, your career came plummet with the Jackson. It didn't plummet, but it didn't. Justin gained. That was his Illuminati initiation. I mean, so that was. I don't. It. I don't understand why. Like, one, it's a, she's a woman, mm -hmm. right? Women have boobs. So mm -hmm. if you rip Men off, too. huh? Men have boobs. Well, I mean, well, well, women's are, are just useless, right? So women have useful boobs. So. If you rip off, like, what, do you, what, how do you blame Janet? Jackson? Like, they didn't, like, did they come, did they choreograph the? Because she's a black woman. I mean, I get it. They just put the blame. I, I always thought that thing was way overblown. It was. Um, it definitely was. Because let's not forget the NFL's, like, number one target demo is middle aged, beer belly men who have boobs. Who, who have. <laughs> Yes, who have boobs, but also probably like boobs. They probably got the maximum uh, magazines in the basket on the ground next to the toilet in the man cave. So let's not act like, you know, I get it was the Super Bowl, so like everybody's watching because it's an American tradition, but I think it was way overblown. Neither here nor there. Britney Spears. Savage. Excerpts from her memoirs have started to hit the web in which she admitted to having an abortion when she and Justin Timberlake were dating when they were 19 and literally just said it was his idea. <laughs> he like, he made me do it. Look. She was like, I kind of wanted to, like, if I could do it or if it had been left up to me, I would have kept it. And this I, is when they were 19. How old, is, how old are they now? Like in their 40s? Like, like Justin with Jessica, like at, Two kids. Two kids. Like, oh, really? And Jessica's strict. Jessica don't play. I don't, like I saw. wouldn't let him be friends with Cameron Diaz anymore. No, I saw a rumor um, on a. They on have, a, they've been separated since 2016? I saw a rumor on an uh, unconfirmed 
unsubstantiated, but a rumor nonetheless, that this has caused some. Of course it would. Should it? He was 19. He was 19. This was what, two relationships before her? Three relationships before Jessica Biel? How long they been together? I don't know, a minute. But I know Jessica Biel doesn't, she doesn't play. She's very particular. Like Like, he used to date Cameron Diaz and they broke up and they were like still friends after. Doesn't that like dating Cameron Diaz? Yeah, he did. Why is your voice so high? I don't remember that. Yeah. Uh, And Jessica Biel was like, cut it off. You know, and I I never got, I never got the Cameron Diaz thing. Talented, talented actress. Um, but I, she's in the same vein as uh, Reese Witherspoon. Not Reese. I, I love Reese. Don't don't you ever. Um, what's her name? Charlize Theron. Like they got a lot of hype now. Charlize can act her ass off, but like they try to like like I don't. It's not. It's they never really did. She never really did it for me. As like a. Like a, like the it factor. It like, was just it was Reese never there. Spoon does. Reese was. Are you kidding me? Reese is like, she's almost goaded, almost. Reese. Reese. That's your type. No, it's not my type. I'm just saying Reese is like, Reese is legit. Mm. Any anyway. range too. Oh my god, she's and she's got staying power. She's been around forever. It's because she's been acting since she was like two. Yeah. Staying, that's literally staying power. Um, but yeah, I never got the Cameron Diaz thing. I I feel the way about Britney that I feel about. No, I feel more about Britney than Jada. I also want. I want Britney to get help. I feel like Britney needs help. Did you see that picture she put on? With blades, with the gut. The blades and the. Yo, her build is concerning. <sighs> We can't, you don't pick your shape. Um, so but I you can do things to impact it. You can't, like, she could do, and she wasn't always shaped. That's a good point because she wasn't always shaped like that. Yeah, she like, um, she's very boxy. Uh, and I don't know where that came from. I have a lot of concerns about Britney Spears. Uh, and I know, like, her sister's on Dancing with the Stars, and they did an interview with one of those she has shows. Jamie Lynn Spears? Hmm. Never heard of him. Oh my gosh! This has always been Britney. No, Britney has a like a little identical sister named Jamie Lynn Spears. Who? What did she do? Was she was an actress? She was. I mean, she acts now. She's on a show on Netflix. She's on Dancing with the Stars right Who's now. Who's she been in? Uh, I can't remember the names of the stuff. Yeah. But she had like Zoe. Is it Zoe One Hundred and One? She had a Disney show, but she got pregnant at like fifteen. God dang, fifteen. Um, so she kind of lost her. Yeah, her wholesome. Disney, yeah. So she got pulled from from a lot of stuff and hasn't really been. I mean, she was little sister, so she was never going to get to the level that. I don't know. Look what uh, is Elizabeth Olsen older than Mary Kate Ashley? She's younger. So, but she might be an outlier. She's only an outlier because her sisters are weird and just decided that we're billionaires and don't need to do anything anymore. Are they actually? We have we confirmed that they're billionaires. They have to be. I mean, between the books, the movies. The Olsen twins, I would don't don't come for they, those. They're like on. I think Amanda. I think they're on like the Amanda. They're part of a very small portion of that generation of actors and actresses that like. I mean, I know they were big. They were don't get me wrong. Huge. They were they were, and they, they were got huge. their money, and then they were able to just be like, we don't want it anymore. I don't know about billionaire status though. I'm pretty sure they they're up there, but they've also both married rich. Oh well, that helps. They've both married, excuse me, wealthy. That helps. One of them might actually be married to a billionaire. No, 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 so that's they. Then yeah, that's different. They're fine. Um, but, but yeah, Elizabeth. I yeah, Elizabeth is is great. Um, she's goat. I prefer her over she's, her sister. She's goat. Which is I feel treasonous because I really loved her sisters. They're high. Um, they're okay. They were okay, but they like. I never, I never got the, I never got the hype. You're a boy. No, that doesn't. Did you read any of the books? No. Did you watch any of the movies? I didn't read anybody's books. You didn't read like Nancy Drew. I wasn't a big reader as a kid. Says a lot. So. What does it? What, what does it say a lot about? It just says a lot. Like what? What does it say? You weren't a big reader. I wasn't a big reader. Okay, says a lot. But I'm. But 
What does it say a lot about, though? It just says a lot. I mean, about what? Because I'm well informed. What's her name? Other than the fact that Britney Spears has a sister. <laughs> How you don't I know literally Jamie Lynn Spears. You don't run in the same circles. You don't. What? <laughs> we run in different circles. Don't run in any of their circles. Anyway. Exactly. I that's exactly literally what I said. We don't run in the same circles. Anyway, um, yeah, Olsen sis, she's she's one right. of the few. We gotta finish the show that we started it's on Max. It just moves really slow. It does. Like this is the only show that like one of the few shows that I've fallen asleep like every time we sit down to watch it. And I've resisted putting it back on because I know I'm gonna fall asleep again. Like mm-hmm. I, and everybody I've talked to that's watched it because it's been out it came out a minute ago. I was like, Oh my god, it's so good. I keep waiting for that part to like get there. Like that because every series that's that slaps has that moment where it it changes it, it where it, it shifts it shifts for you and it's like oh my god this is it it hasn't shifted I hadn't, I hadn't done it yet. And, it, and there's only like eight episodes because it's a limited series are we on like episode nine no <laughs> no i like episode three or four and i'm like yeah. okay we're getting to like we're getting to like the halfway point wait like a month straight watching the same four episodes. the same same two three episodes you fall asleep where did you I fell asleep no you fell asleep um no, like, she, she she she's an outlier she's an amazing actress she's if she's in something or participate i think i'm really a big fan of marvel because of her um but that's neither here nor there uh, excuse me i like her character i like i like you're a big fan of marvel because of elizabeth olsen yeah and mm-hmm. her name's elizabeth I mean, Marvel's been around a long time. Yeah, but I like the Marvel movies because the okay. ones that she's Marvel in. Movies? Yeah. Okay, so you need to be a little bit more specific. Sorry, my bad. Yeah. It's okay. It's not going to happen again. Um, I, I have so many opinions on Britney. It, it's tough because I grew up on Britney. I, Hit me, baby, one more time. I had the posters. I had Oops, the I did it movies. again. It's toxic. I the, uh, I mean, I had it all. I like I was I was a Britney fan. I grew up in suburban Massachusetts. I was a Britney Spears fan. I could sing, drop a Britney Spears song. I could sing it right now. I loved Britney Spears. I am concerned about the Britney that we're constantly seeing now. Like I feel like that conservatorship really messed her up. I feel like, but I'm also confused because yes, she's been under the conservatorship, but she was also on like the voice or X factor or something as a judge. So I personally feel like she needs help. I feel like now she needs more help because she married old boy and now they're getting divorced. So I don't even like, they're going to divorce. Yeah. They're, they're separated. So I don't even know if it made it a year, but, um, I just feel like she, I, I have this weird empathetic heart for people and I just feel Except like, me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just feel like she needs to be loved by somebody like a genuine. Because that's not, <laughs> that's not dramatic at all. I mean, she just seemed, I just, I can to be I loved. Have, I have concerns for her. Love. Like whenever I see her with like the like dancing thing, she just look to me. She gives off someone who is is troubled, and it's one of those like, oh, how the mighty have fallen. Like you've got this woman who is in this mansion, and all she does is make dance videos. And when you think of who Britney was at her peak, dancing at MTV Awards with snakes on her shoulders, like. Like she was, she was what Taylor Swift is now. So I have a lot of concerns for her. I don't, it's hard to be like, I don't think she should have thrown Justin under the train, bumped the bus. It was a train. You know what? I, I just hope that she at least let him know. She did not. She probably didn't. She did not. She probably didn't. Messing up a happy home. What would you do if Justin Timberlake had an abortion? No. <laughs> if we had been married 
for a good a good minute, and then somebody was like, "Yo, David made me get an abortion at 19." I'd be like, "Good riddance," because I wouldn't want to deal with your baby mama drama. No offense, I say that wholeheartedly. It wouldn't you as a staunch Christian, a staunch Christ, Christian or whatever. Um, Let's not have this conversation here. Um, what? Don't staunch Christian. Yeah, you, you, I am conservative. You, 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 you all that. Because that's that. not me. Um, you all that stuff. How old were you when you did when you made old girl have an abortion? Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. And you're what? About to be thirty six. So that'd be. Put my, put my age right there on the streets. You're about to have a whole podcast episode with David turned thirty six in like a month and a half. Calm down. Chapter thirty six, baby. Um. I don't know. Because you know what's crazy is I vividly remember celebrating my Jesus year. And that was literally three years ago. That was a long time ago. I don't, what, what did you do for your Jesus year? Was that LA? Wow. I don't remember. I don't. Cool. You turned 33. I remember 35. Yeah, because it was last <laughs> year. year. See, that's awesome. Say Lucia. Um, okay, so you were like a staunch Christian. What would you do? My thing is, as a believer, you know, yeah, staunch Christian, staunch you should be, you're, you're born again. And who you were at 19 is not who you are right now. And if you were in the position where you felt that that was the best decision for you to make now, I think making someone ha have an abortion is a very misused right. term. Like you put a gun to her head or something. Because like, it's not like you someone a male could lay someone down and be like abort that child inside of her i i get the statement is more so like i'm pregnant with this baby we are together and you are making it clear that you're not in the place to support me mentally emotionally physically to have this child and then the ongoing so it makes more sense to have an abortion. I, I get that part, but I, I think we need to be careful with how using that term and not we, but people need to be careful with like using that terminology, making it seem like it was forced um, because there are many people who choose to not have an abortion. There are many people who choose to have an abortion. It's not my place to, say you did or did not do the right thing but I th I, i'm always weird when people make it seem like you know they were forced to do it um because because in the re the i'm not going to get into that but you know at the time she was britney spears she's 19 she <coughs> she could have theoretically had that baby and you know her she was still at the peak of her career then everything probably would have been just fine for them. You know, they're, you know, a white pop couple. They would have been okay. Uh, I don't think it would have been the detriment of their careers. He's a guy. He was in a boy band. He would have just, NSYNC would have been fine. Would he have turned into Justin Timberlake? Who knows? Um, but that's the thing with life. This decision gives you an outcome and you'll never know what the opposite decision would have done for you instead. So, um, trying to remember where we started from um man memoirs <laughs> i still think we just need memoirs to come out when people die put it in the will like as soon as you die you read your will off to your family here's my memoir ready to be released on the new york times bestseller list i do think everyone has the right to say release their opinionated truth this is my life. This is how I feel it happened. Um, recognizing that out of the word memoir is memory. And memories are not always accurate. Mm. And because memories are not always accurate, you do have to take someone at their word. But you also need to recognize that there is a, a, a measure of discretion that I, the reader, the absorber of this information have to have. For all we know, there could have been a conversation between Brittany and Justin where she even recognized like, okay, you know, it, it's not this, like you have people, peer peers, like what's her face? Lauren Hill had a baby and people like she even wrote a song about how people said like, this is going to mess up your career have an abortion like don't have the child she chose to have the child um it's not the same generation where like cardi b can did you hear she was late the other night 
Lauren Hill gonna be late every like the idea that anyone would ever expect Lauren <laughs> Hill. He actually showed up on time and was upset. Like the uh, like the, y'all. Lauren Hill's coming to Charlotte, and I want to go see her. I've seen her before in concert. She was two hours late. But the idea that anyone should ever expect Lauren Hill to be on time, and if she's not on time to be upset, that's 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 on you. You are the fool. Because she's going to be late. She does not know how to be on time. Why? I don't know. Because this is your preset concert scheduled. Yeah. You, you should be there. The fact that no one can figure there. out how to get her to be somewhere on time, I, I don't know. Yeah. But y'all already paid for the ticket, so she's going to show up when she shows up, and she's going to give you what she gives you. Anyway, Brittany, at the time, at 19, was not of the generation of, like, a Cardi B who could be pregnant and twerking pregnant on stage in concerts and, and make it work. Like, I, I feel like Cardi is one of those few anomalies where she could afford to be pregnant. Um I feel like even Beyonce, like Beyonce had her kids later in life, probably because she was concerned about her career. Mm. So I'm pretty sure that Justin and Brittany and maybe even like a PR person, someone who was close to both of them at the time, recognized that this was probably not a big, a, a good idea for them. Um, I don't know that we anticipated Brittany's career to go the direction it's currently in. Um, but look at Justin's career. Look at his life. He's, you know, now he's got this beautiful family. He's acting like what is he's this little renaissance man. Um, yeah, I really, I really liked him in the social network. He did a very good he job. He did a great job in the social network. I need to go watch the show he's in on Apple TV. I've heard decent things. Yeah. No, it's not I, worth it. I, I was like, oh. There was something else he was in that he did a really good job. Uh, and I appreciated him in it. But again it's it's her truth i i still think she's battling a lot of her own demons that she needs to get through um between the conservatorship and her family like i mentioned earlier like the interview with et and her sister on dancing with the stars and they were asking if they're going to dance to her sister's music and it was just such an awkward interaction you can tell that they're estranged like she seems like she's by herself mm. um so i personally i personally am concerned about britney britney gives me kanye vibes but executed differently mm. like these are these are people who need a loving grandmother to say, come here, baby. And just give them mm -hmm. a wholehearted hug. You know, I bet your daughter was saying the kind you was. I know. We will talk about that. How you feel about it? I, I'd rather her listen to NPR, but I she also, can do that too. I also want her to be a well-rounded girl. A well-rounded person. And Kanye makes so extremely good music as well. He does. He does. Um, as long as it's the censored stuff, of course. Well, one Donda Donda is only is only censored. I don't think they had a dirty, an explicit version of it. No, oh, I didn't know that. I don't. I don't listen to music enough to know what's happening. I I listen to NPR and stuff. If I knew it before twenty twenty, I listen to it. Um, I don't have time to navigate music. Yeah, every time a Donda song comes on, she's like, and I skip it. She's like, hey, turn it back. Yeah, Solace. Solace might end up being a little rapper. She she's a cool kid. She's a really cool kid. Yeah. Like when she was at her Minecraft camp and I went to pick her up and they were playing she asked them to play um Knock You Down and she was hitting the Kanye part while she was like building her little Minecraft. Mm. I was like, you know what? I mean That's the type of girl I well, want. her memory is, is is epic. Yeah, she's got an impeccable memory. And uh like I remember I told her I was like, yo, when we when we were playing Holy a lot and Justin Bieber and Chance the Rapper, I was like, yo, we need to learn this part. And she was like, It's so hard. I was like, We'll get it. And then we're now if well, we haven't done it in a while, so it's we probably oh, she can't can still do it. Um busy, like we were busy. I was like, Why? Does like, yeah. Cause, no, cause man, she's, cause she's, we she's cool. I feel like that'll be because maybe not so much video games, because we we like very different types of video games. She's a builder. Yeah, and I just want to play like 2K is more my release than like because I haven't played really played a video game other than 2K and probably since as long as we've been together really. Mm -hmm. uh, although I might get that new Spider Man that comes out Friday. Solace is a 
feminine tomboy. Yeah. And I really like it. But I think music, music might be our, your bonding our thing. Yeah. Cause we like a lot of the stuff that like, I really like, I'll play it for her and she really likes it. Oh God. Yeah. But see, but you sleep because there's a lot of stuff that's like, it might seem off the wall for me to like, that you haven't heard me listen to that she and I will listen to. So I might, that might be a thing. Get some vinyl. <laughs> Get some what? Some vinyl records. I actually do want. My dad had, I don't know if he still has it. My, but he, my dad had some too. Yeah. He, he had, he, he had one as recent as, I know he had one in the basement in Virginia. I don't know if he, if he kept up with it, but okay. he used to go, he used to go into the basement and you see hear him singing. You know, my dad in the big, that's Deep probably voice. my it sounds so weird but i do i in like the final house i want like i love the sound of a record starting that that pop i want to appreciate like yeah. i love movies where they show it and like maybe somebody has like a glass of cognac and you know they're getting ready to put that that in that it's like a silence and then the pop hits and so I do, I mean, I encourage her to be whoever the heck she wants to be, all of them. Um, but she definitely gives me, like, I'm the type of girl who's going to kick your butt in video games, but I'm also going to wear this bright pink dress that has a train, and it's puffy, and you're going to, with sneakers, and you're going to deal, or Crocs, and you're going to deal with it. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, she's a fun one to raise. I mean, she's the oldest one that we're raising. So, you know, we're seeing the most of her personality. But yeah, I mean, I, um, I've i been trying to make a more valiant effort of playing my music. I think you're going to keep her current with like the new music. But like I'm I'm trying to be better, like playing the Bob Marley because I don't want her to just be exposed to like American music. I want her to know them all to know other music so i want them to have that nostalgic i'm weird because i am intentional about my nostalgia like the nostalgia i try to implant in them so like if i'm cooking dinner i'll play music because in my mind in 20 years they're gonna be doing something and remember like oh when mom was cooking when mom would cook dinner she would play you know reggae she would play Bob Marley, she would play Lauren Hill, whatever I, I, I choose to listen to that day. So <clears throat> that's why I go out of my way to do those things because mm. like, I remember like growing up Friday nights, like that was like music night. So that's when my dad would pull out all of his CDs. Um, and he had like this brief stint where he was a DJ. So he like had all of like, the different mixers and all this stuff. So he would play the different, different songs. So that's how I know these things, these mm. songs. Um, and I appreciate them, but I want those songs to travel mm. another generation. Like I want my kids to know who Gregory Isaacs is, who to know who um, <clears throat> George Clinton is, and all of these you know mm. old school musicians. So mm. maybe it's it's not as organic because I'm like being strategic with it, but it's still stuff that I appreciate. Um, mm. 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 Cool. Anyway, but uh, a lot um, of my a lot of my my music tastes. That's how we got here because I was saying that Britney gives me Kanye vibes. Yeah, a lot of my music tastes aren't current though. They're more current than mine. Look. Actually, I don't. I don't actually, I, I don't think so. Two thousand eight was my peak year in music because I had gone to college and I did not have any regulation. I don't think so. So it was Drake and Kanye. I listen a lot of the and Nicki Minaj, unfortunately. Sorry, Barb's. Anyways, uh, she will, as all of our children will, will be very exposed to a wide range of music from different generations, and they'll look at that. From, yeah, because when they from, run down to both of us, my parents, they'd be listening to African stuff, some as, stuff that I have no. I'm like, as, I don't even know this. As they should, because they're Afghani. They are. My at life. least, at least half county. Africans. Yeah. Um, but I was saying that Britney Spears gives me Kanye vibes that they just, they both need some type of TLC that they're not getting. So 
I'm glad Brittany wrote her memoir. Am I going to read it? No. Um, I get the excerpts. Yeah, I'll just wait for like more of the drama, more of the tea to continue to brew, and I'll just sip. I'll just sip what someone pours into my cup. You hear the um, they finally got Natalie Holloway's killer. They did. They Ben had him. Yeah, but he finally confessed. I wonder if he really did it. Now that he confessed, I'm I like, mean, he got like twenty years. Wasn't he in like St. Lucia? Like when we were? No. <laughs> I was like, oh. Was, and like, I remember thinking like, weren't we just there? I feel like he was in St. Lucia and they, they extradited. You know, my, my first exposure to Natalie Holloway was when Patrice O'Neill did that skit. Who's where Patrice he, O'Neill? Oh. Mm. Um, he's a comedian who he passed away some time okay, ago. Okay, then it's not the but guy he's a big, thinking of. He's a big, he was bigger black dude. Somewhat of a high pitched voice. The one whose head wasn't in proportion with the rest of his body. Maybe. I don't know. But um he did the he did the um I How play, do you do a skit on I, someone who was murdered? I play it from time to time. And he didn't really do a skit, but I, I play a, a a very popular bit he and um Opie and Anthony did when they were talking about Independence Day, how horrible of a movie it was. I play that from time to time. But anyways, um Is he the one with the pointed head? I don't know. He's got, he had a gap Ball. in his two front teeth. He always had a hat on, so I don't know. Oh, I have no, I don't know this one. So he was doing a, a stand up special and he was talking about uh, the difference between um, when white women go missing and yeah, black okay. women go missing. <laughs> and so, um,. I, I I won't do it because I don't I, I don't I want to be insensitive to Natalie's family, but it was he used her as comparison to at the time she was still missing. Yeah, this was years ago. Uh, but then he said, I guess there was another Peruvian woman who had gone missing. <laughs> he was like, "But what was the?" And yeah, nobody can know. Nobody knew what her name was. And he was like, "Exactly." But um, shame. Yeah, that was like my first. I didn't even know who she was. I just know, like, I literally know her by name because of that, that bit in his stand up. But, um, yeah, hopefully, good, good, good that they can, her family can have some peace. Yeah, they deserve that after all these years. Um, um where did she? Because now I feel like I'm trying to remember. What. She was in high school. Went on a went on a trip. She was eighteen. She was in high school. College. I vividly remember hearing high school when I looked up the thing. But. Oh, man. Hmm. She was killed on a boot beach in Aruba. Yeah. Why it is it? Like, is that where we're going? No, but I don't know why I thought it was St. Lucia. Because I, I really thought. I guess. Yeah, apparently he, he, he told him told him where he, where he dumped the body and all that. He's a sick individual. Uh, yeah <laughs> yeah i mean most people who um do things like that are, are sick individuals um uh, but i think it's a good place to stop yeah it's a good place um prayers yeah. for Brittany. prayers for jada prayers for justin timberlake y'all pray for him um and then prayers for the smiths and those kids i feel like they're collateral and, damage and the middle east and who the middle east Oh yeah, them too. Um, did you see the random post that said that Will's first wife got divorced and like, like her divorce from her husband was close to Will's divorce from Jada, or separation from Jada, and that's why um, the two were separated. Like the open marriage is the two of them. Will and his first wife. I'll have to find and share it. <coughs> Anywho, um, we are gonna close out, but before we do, um, I wanna, um, I wanna use this opportunity. Uh, we've got a little bit of a platform, um, and you know, we just did an interview with with Franco, who's uh, running for city council in, in Monroe. Yeah, um, vote. I was gonna say no, 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 but uh, we mentioned Natalie Holloway. Mm-hmm. And um, we also talked about like Carly Russell, although that turned out to be a, a hoax. Um, oh, I forgot who she was. My bad. There's um, 
What happened? There's a there's a young woman from Union County, young girl who's been missing. Oh yes. Uh, and I just wanted to uh, to 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 put that that out here for anybody who may not be aware. Um, and I'll, I'll put up some information when we run this. Um, Lauren Alexis Heath, age 16, uh, black female, about five feet, hundred pounds, black hair, brown eyes. Um, was last seen this thing is giving me uh, trouble. October 13th, leaving her house, uh, at four o'clock PM, four or 4 PM approximately. Uh, no one's seen her since. And um, she was seen walk. Actually, wait a minute. She was seen walking down Seafin Court towards Union Unionville Indian Trail Road. Uh, she was wearing a gray sweatshirt, shorts, which were covered by the sweatshirt, white shoes, a black backpack, a white handbag, and had her hair pulled back in a, in a ponytail. So uh, authorities are asking if you've seen her or have any information, contact the Monroe Police Department, 704-282-4700 or 704-282-4765. And once again, that's Lauren Alexis Heath, who's 16, has been missing since 13th of October. Today's the 18th. 18th. We're recording this. This will run on the on the 20th. So, so um, hopefully by the time this drops, she has been found safely. Yes. Um, and returned to her family. And that's... That's what our, our prayer is going to be. Absolutely. Anything else? I had something else, but it's very hard to transition. I'm sorry. From- I just want I, I remember I remember seeing it earlier and I was like, man, when we record, I want to make sure that I that I mention that. The, the Natalie Hollywood stuff is just triggering it. Yeah. Um in our absence, we as rushed vibes. Well not rushed vibes, but we as David and Jessica celebrated our ninth. Oh yeah marriage anniversary i won't say wedding because we didn't really have a wedding um but we've been married for nine years somehow (laughs) some way this marriage is sustained almost a decade now i must confess that in 2019 (laughs) I'm kidding. We are not separated. Everything's fine. It's great here. Um, But yeah, so we celebrated on October 12th, our ninth marriage anniversary. We had a somewhat of an unconventional celebration, but we did something every night. Uh, Since from Thursday to Saturday, well, for Thursday to Sunday, because we went out and had brunch and then went to vintage. Oh, you can eat brunch. I had a mimosa that was this much champagne and that much juice. Um, but it was fun. We did have a few moments where I was like, "Oh, this is how year nine is starting." Okay, but um, what? You were just throwing a lot of tude. When? Like when it was time to go somewhere, and then I'd be like, "Are you okay?" And you're like, "I'm fine," and I'd be like, "Oh, I said I was fine," and you took that as no, I wasn't. Fine. I asked you, "Are you okay?" It's because your appearance is not giving fine. Anyway, we're not gonna we're not gonna do this here. Um, mm. But yeah, we have been married nine years. In nine years, we have accomplished. Sorry, I had to burp. <laughs> We've accomplished a lot. We've built a lot. Our little empire is growing. Um, we have made three amazing children, and have somehow managed to be a marriage example to people without even trying. So that was encouraging. Um, We had a handful of people kind of, we had a lot of people encourage us um, on our little anniversary posts. Uh, But we did get a couple private messages from people and we've gotten some over time. So just want to acknowledge that. Like you don't always think that, what you're doing people are seeing or noticing or appreciating and you don't realize that you are influencing people even though i hate the term influencer uh in ways that you are and i think 
our marriage is not perfect, but it's pretty, it's, it, it gets pretty darn close. And it's nice to know that people are looking at us and, and either seeing what we have and say, you know, we want something like that. Cause I don't know that you should want what we have. You should want what God has for you. And we can just kind of be an example of that. Um, <clears throat> but it's, it, 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 marriage is not easy. It's not difficult. It's work, but, um, it's been a great nine years and to those who have been front and center or backstage or adjacent to just kind of watching us grow um, from being two, you know, knucklehead kids at 24 and 27 getting married and probably not 26, having 26. Getting married and not having a clue what we were getting ourselves into. And now here we are, um, fruitful and multiplied. I don't know. It, um, it just hit different. And maybe because we're approaching a decade and I still feel like we're, I still feel so young um, <laughs> that I don't understand how I'm about to say that I've been married for 10 years with three children. Um, no, no, it was, um, there was a lot of reverence I had this anniversary, just, you know, nine is an odd number. It's not really a number that you use to acknowledge anything. I was trying to like search, like what's the biblical meaning of nine. And one said fun, one said new adventures. And then they started getting all like Hinduism. And I was like, okay, so, so what we're not going to do is pull in other people's sayings. But, um, I did, I did hold on to, you know, fun and adventure and there was a couple other key terms that were used, but that was it. Um, I feel like I'm rambling, but I did just want to touch on the fact that, yeah, the, uh, rushing celebrated nine years and to nine more. <laughs> yeah, it was very nice of you. Was it? Thanks. Yeah. Not where I expected us to, to pivot toward. Because mm -hmm. we always say we're going to talk about our, our marriage and we never do. We talk about other people's marriages. Yeah. Like the Smiths. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know how to, for once, I can't really follow that mm -hmm. act. So uh, I, I will say that uh, it was a very special week end literally uh and i think nine years has flown by and uh it is an odd literally and figuratively odd, an odd number but um yeah it's it's significant and uh I know some people probably think it comes easy uh, and that we're so compatible and I mean we are and that we just we just work and then in large part we do we we do have a special favor we in we, terms of our we, relationship we, we do you be tripping but I I do and uh, he admitted it but uh, it's it is. A lot of continuous, sustained uh, effort to make things work because not so much our relationship, but the variables around it that can sometimes have impact can affect things. So it takes a lot of work to hold the fort, so to speak, and not let <clears throat> seasons, valleys, lurches. Um, impact your your marriage, uh, and I think that that's something that we always, even when in our rough patches, we always come back to that center, home base, and we kind of 
are able to lock in and and hold the, you know, hold hold it down until the storms pass. So, yeah, it was great. It was great. Uh, very unorthodox for me to be out every night for five nights, four nights straight. Not for me. I'd be in um, boulevards. We got we got to Sunday, and I was like, I don't go nowhere. And then she was like, all right, so you're going to cook me breakfast? And I was like, all right, let's no, go get some. You, I said I was going to take him out to breakfast. No, and he was you like, said I wanted to go out, number one. You didn't yeah. say you were going to take me out. You said I wanted to go out. Yeah. And then I said, I said, oh, well, you know, I was going to cook you breakfast because, you know, we've been out three days in a row. Mm-hmm. And then I realized, I realized we didn't have anything that I could just cook easily. Nice. And I was like, you know what? We haven't been out in a while. <laughs> so then we went to brunch. But yeah, we went to brunch and then we were already out. So I was like, let's go get a cigar. And she was like, fine. I enjoyed my cigar. It was really good. Mm. So. Nine years down. At least nine, nine more to go. go. At least nine more to go. Anything else? Or how many years till the youngest is 18? 16. All right. 16 to go. Kidding. Just kidding. So um, don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed our conversation about other people's marriages wrapped up with a little touching about note of our, our, of our, so of, yeah, our marriage is perfect. Um, we're on Apple, Spotify, YouTube music and tune in. And uh, we really do appreciate all of the views, everyone who's commented and offered us support, suggestions. Um, even if you disagree with me or Jess or both of us, uh, we really just appreciate people checking in with us on, on a weekly basis, uh, whether you stay for the full hour and 30 minutes or whether you just kind of hop in and hop out. Um, we, we really do appreciate it. This thing is three years in so um looking forward to keeping you going um we'll go as long as people care about even if they don't care watching. we'll still keep yeah, going i guess even if they don't care we'll still watch because it's kind of cool to see put yourself on the tv and your kids be like oh my god you're on tv <laughs> so yeah i guess we'll keep doing it but uh yeah appreciate you guys we'll be back next week i think Probably next week. We might have to record Tuesday because I got my procedure. Yeah, we might. Next week, we might take next week off. Or we could do a loopy episode Wednesday. So we might take next week off. <laughs> um, or if we can manage to record early in the week, we'll we'll put something out. So you might say as you might not. But we've got over 90 other episodes that you can watch if we're not, if we're not back next week. So check out the Rush Vibes uh, YouTube page for, for those prior episode like and share and comment i actually enjoy responding to y'all's comments about like certain things and just getting dialogue and conversations going so let's let's keep that word word on that note y'all right, peace see y'all next week yeah. maybe none but some grow pains yeah hey hey I done came way too far, can't stop me now I done came way too far, can't stop me now I done came way too far, can't stop me now I done came way too far, can't stop me now Can't stop me now, can't stop me now Yeah, I done came way too far, can't stop me now